Hello everyone and welcome back to Book Reviews with Anne. Hopefully everybody had a good new year and read lots of books. I know I did, not to escape my family, just because I'm obsessed with books, obviously. And it's my birthday month, so I feel like I deserve extra book time during that time. And I can, you know, even though it's in Texas, I can pretend it's cold. So today uh, I'm going to be doing A Kiss at Midnight by Eloise James. She is a fun one if you have not read um, <clears throat> any of hers. So this book is very, as you can tell by the cover, Cinderella-ish. It definitely has that vibe and feel. Um, so let's see. So Miss Kate Daltrey doesn't believe in fairy tales or happily ever after. Forced by her stepmother to attend a ball, Kate meets a prince and decides he's anything but charming. A clash of wits and wills and shoes, and they both know their irresistible attraction will lead nowhere. For Gabriel is promised to another woman, a princess whose hand in marriage will fulfill his ruthless ambitions. Gabriel likes his fiancée, which is a welcome turn of events, but he doesn't love her. Obviously, he should be wooing his bride-to-be, not the witty, impoverished beauty who refuses to fawn over him. Godmothers and glass slippers notwithstanding, this is one fairy tale in which destiny conspires to destroy any chance that Kate and Gabriel might have of a happily ever after. Unless a prince throws away everything that makes him noble, unless a dowry of an unruly heart trumps a fortune, and unless one kiss at the stroke of midnight changes everything. So, for this one I gave it a lusty meter of six. It is not erotica but there are you know passionate moments in there so if you like if you like that kind of thing this would definitely be up your cup of tea um so now thrifty books i found this for um let's see i found it for 13 dollars you get it like new for $4.97 or 79 cents is the cheapest I found it on there. And on Amazon, you get it on Kindle for $2.99, a hardback version for $24, and a paperback for $17. And on Barnes & Noble, I found it on their, uh, I think it was their, what's it called? Their Nook for $2.99. So you can get this guy pretty cheap. And like I said, you know, I'm a huge fan of thrift books. Um, and they are, in my personal opinion, the best way to go. But again, I don't like to read digitally. I like my physical copies, obviously. So back to the book. Do I like it? Yes. Does it get a sticker? Yes. It's adorable and a very fun, kooky read. If you like embarrassing humor, there is quite a few moments in this book where, um, the poor darling main character is just, I'm just mortified on her behalf. And uh, she spends most of it, unfortunately, very uh, out of her element. So I think it's a nice turn of events because most of the time the heroine is beautiful and uh, usually willful or something like that. Well, in this book, she's really not graceful and she has a couple of moments that I just laughed at this poor, poor dear. Um, you'll have to read it yourself and tell me what you think. It's definitely kooky. I would say it's kooky more than it's sexy. It does have like sexy elements in there that make it, you know, a romance novel and a traditional romance novel. But I really like that Eloise James was able to kind of poke fun, I feel like, at herself and add the traditional Cinderella story by making it where it doesn't take itself too seriously. So even the, so there is serious elements, obviously, you know, there, there's marriage that's supposed to be happening and they don't love each other. Um, and there is a battle of wills between the prince and the impoverished beauty. Um, and there are animals. So if you like animals, animals are definitely in there. I would definitely recommend if someone, <laughs> if you like romance novels, give her a try. And I think that this is a really fun one to start with from Eloise James. I've read some of her other ones and they're not as like all as goofy as this one. I am a fan of Eloise James. I like her. Um, 
but they're not all goofy like this one. And I think that it's a really fun one to play with if you've read a couple of serious ones um, back to back. Like I just I finished reading quite a few um, Nicole Jordans and I do adore Nicole Jordan. Um, and so this one was a fun one to kind of throw in there just to make me giggle. If you, if you like to laugh, I would definitely give her a try. So uh, the next book I will probably be reviewing in my next video, if somebody wants to read along with me, will be a little bit different. It's not a romance novel, it's called Ponty. And that will be the next one that I'll be reviewing. If anybody wants to pick it up and read along, that would be super awesome. The next romance novel I will do probably be... be hmm, another Nicole Jordan. I'm thinking that I will probably do The Prince of Pleasure next just because I had started this series and I want to finish. I had to, of course, I had to buy her series to finish that one out. So that will be the next one. If anyone wants to read along, tell me what you think. If you have read Eloise James, let me know what you thought of my review. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, let me know what, what about it made it fun or kooky. I found it adorable. But I also am a super awesome awkward nerd and I have had more than my fair share of awkward moments so it helps me not feel alone in the world that poor Kate poor poor Kate anyways so I hope everybody has a wonderful evening and I will see you next time and hopefully you'll join me in my book nerd kingdom so yeah good night